we are giving away a brand new side-by-side -side total value of over $22,000. For every dollar you spent at www.gethushin.com, that is one entry into winning the side-by-side. -side. What's up guys? Just like you saw, we are giving away the Can-Am Defender side-by-side -side, and we just dropped a ton of new apparel. We've got a bunch of new hats, t-shirts, decals, water bottles, you name it, we've added it to the website. Guys, every $1 spent is one entry to win. So enter at gethushin.com and good luck. Good luck, guys. It's a nice little spot right here. Steep. <laughs> Well guys, welcome to a new video. <clears throat> this is personally my first time up to the high country to look for bucks. So uh, we're gonna be doing a scouting video this evening. It's, we still got a pretty good amount of sunlight. The sun's beating down on the side of the canyon. We're gonna glass, but we're gonna post up right here in the shade and glass high country bucks in the velvet. How far do you think their growth is? Like some of them half were- Half and half. Like I've Some seen, of them were grown, huh? I've seen grown ones and stubby ones. Yeah, so we're gonna get an eye on a, a handful of bucks tonight. I believe we'll use the phone scope. I brought my old cell phone. Still can't find my other attachment, my other phone scope case. So we got the old phone scope and our Vortex Optics. It's a beautiful evening, just a light, light breeze. And man, it is green as can be. With a little bit of luck, we'll glass some bucks right up here. So, come hang with us. Oh, man, come on, big bucks. Quick glimpse at a new t-shirt design. We're actually gonna print this in this heather gray color. And, whoop, there goes a bug. Heather gray and olive green. So we're gonna be dropping some new apparel on our website. I gotta give us a, ourselves a shameless plug. And just wanna say thanks to everyone who has bought stuff through our store. It means a lot and it helps us a lot. So looks like Chag behind the glass. There's a lot of shady pockets up high up there. So I wouldn't doubt if they start moving, you know. Yeah, I wanna get my sooner. scope out also. I got myself a Vortex tripod. This little guy, I like this for like quick trips like this, lightweight, fits in the backpack well. Then I got the Vortex Razor HD. There we go. So that's my combo right there. Let's go class some bedded bucks right now. Oh, Martin. Spots the first buck of the night, like way close to us. Let's see if we can find him. All right, he just went behind some trees. Yeah, he's right here behind some trees. I can tell he had like three point frame, maybe. Yeah, maybe small four. Yeah. So he came out of the dark shadows somewhere and all of a sudden was just in the green. Here he is. Yeah, so he's right to where each fork is gonna fork and he's just got big balls of velvet antler. Here he comes right through the sun. That's pretty cool. Nice eyes, Chag. Always where you least expect them. So that's what it'll look like for those of you who haven't ever used a phone scope. You'll kind of have a black ring there. You can use the scope to kind of fine focus it. If you want, you can use the zoom on the scope or just use the zoom with your fingers on your phone. And sure, I start as soon as I click record, he's behind a tree. Yeah, it looks like he is going to fork on both sides. This be a small four point. zone man they just love that little shelf right there huh yeah that's cool those two bucks came out right where we saw them last year and where we want to set some trail cameras we'll have to bring some up next time huh yeah yeah that's a good buck like you said he's wide i haven't had a really good look at him yet but you can see his antlers kind of grow out Man, what an evening, guys. It's so beautiful up here right now. Just 
a little bit of light left just enough to kind of illuminate this slope the other slope is in the shade now we're going to have a, a really good angle and really good lighting to glass that up but a couple other bucks just stepped out with got the one we saw like, i think one's that buck from last year really yeah four point looking really good yeah i think it's him there's hmm. four bucks out right now all like the ones all i good. saw were good mature bucks yeah all solid deer like literally every buck there is bigger than anything that I was hunting at deer camp besides the four point. They're moving right now. Kind of can't see their heads, but this That's right here. Man. How far do you think that is? Like 800 yards? Uh, oh, probably for that, huh? Yeah. Maybe a thousand? Maybe That's pretty far. Eight to a thousand yards. Pretty good lighting right now, though. What you got for snacks, dude? <laughs> Beef jerky stick. A little bit of trail mix too. You can have some of that if you want. Dang. Yeah, it just kind of like. Dude, that four point is the business, dude. What they hear? I have to hunt that deer. I have cheaters on this beach. Did you see that? See what? He had his head up over and you could see all those weird points. He does have eye guards. Oh yeah, his eye guards are nice. I think he just, it just kind of like twists and goes yeah, down. Twists, so. Yeah. This year, uh, 2020's been pretty crazy, right? About ready to punch 2020 directly into the face and try to make this hunting season the best hunting season yet. My hunts start with Utah archery deer, Utah archery elk, and then I'm going to Kentucky for whitetail. I'm gonna try opening week out there, which I think is early September. Got an Idaho archery elk tag all of September. Gonna probably get Colorado archery elk, which is most of September. If I don't kill an elk in Utah with a bow, my season is multi-season tag, or my tag is a multi-season tag, so I can hunt mid-October, for elk in Utah with a rifle. I'm gonna go to New Mexico. I'm gonna do that same hunt I did last year with Jordan Ben. Um, Idaho rifle the last week of October. And then coos deer in November. I had something else in November. Oh, Kentucky, if I don't kill, I'll come back and hunt Kentucky. Might try to do Missouri. So guys, we got a full year of hunts. 2020 is gonna be a great season between myself, uh, Martin, Logan, Casey, and BMAC, we have plenty of hunts to capture some great content for you guys. So anyways, I just wanted to say that's kind of my, my schedule and the tags I have. A lot of people have asked, but hope you guys are ready for a freaking unbelievable season. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be way cool. We're, oh. gonna, we're not going to be home at all. No, we aren't. <laughs> that's it's going to be wild. We've, we've been, you know, fairly relaxed. You guys have probably noticed, you know, we're not uploading a ton of videos through the summer months. And uh, I think that's fine because we'll be going full blast come August. Just a little one. Mm -hmm. How cool, man. Well, guys, I know I've mentioned a few products already, but we got to mention our discount code to PhoneScope. It's on their website, phonescope.com. Enter the discount code HUSH and you guys can save. If you guys are not using a phone scope adapter yet and you have a smartphone and you have any optics, you're missing out on just a ton of fun and opportunity to just get film and scout. And God, we filmed so many cool things. That's a pretty one tonight, man. Wow. Snack attack. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <Damn. they're... laughs> we can't let them go to waste. There's not that much. We're well, good. Funny thing about tonight was we were gonna shoot a cooking video. I was gonna make barbecue bacon wrapped burger logs, venison style. 
but I wasn't hungry at the time so I'm like dude let's just buzz up the canyon I'm glad we did you know it's been super hot in the valley like 90s and getting up here where it's cool there are a lot of mosquitoes but it's nice and cool I got my eyes on the first first velvet bucks of 2020 so super happy that we got up here and <laughs> got out of the valley but uh, anyways barbecue bacon burger logs coming soon a fun recipe super good food a great way to use up a bunch of your wild game meat but we're gonna wrap this up um, just a fun video hope you guys enjoyed it I know a lot of people who watch our videos you know they don't get the chance to come out and get into the high country like this these big rock cliff walls and green basins <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed now that I've been up here and just got the icebreaker I'm a lot more excited and motivated to get up uh, here again and then get up to my deer camp and start figuring out where I want to hunt this year so hope you guys enjoyed it have a good night we'll see you on whatever video we make next I don't know might be cooking might be shooting bows could be something like tonight scouting but that was fun man thanks for coming dude yeah it was way fun see you guys let's go we gotta hike out of here